Stephen Ciceron, you have done so much theater work and camera work. You have just, you've had a brilliant career already at your young age. <laughs> My gosh. So Stephen, you play? I play Deputy Dan. And Deputy Dan is, he's aspiring to be either the mayor or the deputy and he's very jealous of the mayor and he's very jealous of the deputy because he feels they're really not, they don't have the aptitude for it. So that's some of the angst that's exactly. in the script. Exactly. It's not like a Bonnie Five type thing, but sounding like a Clint Eastwood. Oh, hello. Hey, how you doing? Ah, please, that's what they all say. And Chuck, I slapped the hogs, I fed the goats, I walked the mules, I even led the horses to water, but they wouldn't drink. And frankly, I don't see what any of this has to do with being a sheriff's deputy. Mm-mm-mm. He gets a little uppity sometimes, but generally he's a good guy. I do comedy and I also do evil and sinister roles. And I like that because I'm a fun guy. So playing evil and sinister roles, if I can pull it off, then I've done my And are you doing that again in this production? Not in this one. This one's comedy for me. I didn't think so. Yeah, I didn't think so. <laughs> so this is a little This is a little, little levity departure, for me. It's which good. is nice. Yeah, absolutely. That's great. Love the show. And Steven? For this one. How about if you put some of that sugar, the granulated sugar in? Okay. Oh, you are a sweet guy. <laughs> you, you can dump a little <laughs> faster, Stephen. It's All only right, a yeah, seven minute show. Okay? Very good. There we go. There we go. Oh, perfect. <laughs> that creaming the butter and the sugar is very important, actually, because it really makes your end product light and fluffy. So we're gonna cream this for about five minutes. Sorry, I didn't tell you that. But anyway, and that'll make everything light and fluffy and just wonderful and tender. Steven, we're gonna get you back in on the action again. Do you wanna just crack, the, have you cracked eggs before? Yes, uh, Easter time. Easter time. When you're not supposed to All crack All right, <laughs> well we're gonna put three eggs in there separately and in between you're gonna kinda of mix them up okay. a little bit. All right, just Everybody got that yep. now? All right, Ready? here we go, Ready? we're gonna get that going. There, good job Steven. Fabulous. Now, why we do them separately, don't ask me, okay? I'm just the Palm Springs thing. <laughs> now, Stephen, while he's doing that, how about if we add a little vanilla? All right. Well, they should make cologne out of this stuff. They should, isn't that good? It smells so good, yeah, absolutely. And Doc is gonna just do his magic and mix that up real good. Look at that, it's coming out good. So I pre-made this wonderful German chocolate oh. cake frosting. Oh. Betty White, eat your heart out. Ah, wasn't she great oh, yeah. as Sue Ann Nivens in the kitchen? <laughs> yeah. I know, the happy homemaker. Oh, yeah. oh my gosh. Stephen, that's fabulous. Oh, okay. <laughs> that's fabulous. Do you believe See, that? Yeah, I have a knack for this. Oh, bad. my goodness. You make mine a double. He, oh, you want twice that much? Double. Oh, she wants more. Moderation. Oh, I love it, like kiddo. Oh, nice nice that's for you, Chris. Okay. Nice cream cone. Okay. Mm. Wow. Is that good? Mm. I mean, really, it is so good.